Her white count is still flat, which is disappointing. But I thought you said... We harvested bone marrow from your daughter's hip. Now, the hope was the healthy stem cells in her marrow would reinfuse the post-treatment. Therefore, it would kickstart her immune system, but... Is it just too soon to tell? No, assembling the proteins the body needs to regenerate is the liver's job. Hers is basically just a mass of scar tissue. But she is getting better. She's regaining consciousness. She is. Of a sort. I understand that you're angry with your mother right now. Make her let me. So what if I'm the only girl? Rich said when he was my age, you let him do whatever he wanted. We've had the same argument before. Almost the exact same words. Wait. When she was 15, when I wouldn't let her go someplace or do something. I mean, you know, just one of those adolescent things. Her liver has enabled to detoxify her system. There will be consequences for all of her organs, including the brain. Well, then she can't go on like this. I've notified the transplant center that her situation is critical. Well, just exactly where is she on this list? Dr. Ramirez. We haven't put her through this so that she can die because of some list. You knew there were no guarantees we would find a liver donor in time. I know that. So that's why I want you to take part of mine. I've already been tested. A, a partial liver transplant is too risky for you, Mrs. Listen Forrester. Listen to me. I've already had my life. Look, don't say that. Don't Eric, say stop, something stop. like that. stop. I've already had my life. What I want now is for Felicia and her child to have theirs. I am prepared to take this risk. I'm telling you, doctor, if you don't do this, I'll find someone that will. I am not going to let her die. No, Mrs. Forrester, we've already discussed this. Felicia's not a candidate for a partial liver transplant, and it's too risky for you. But uh, we've already done the testing. We know the DNA matches, the tissue matches. You don't have another donor available. I'm available. What are we gonna do, stand here and argue when she dies? Why? Why is it so cold? I'll get you a blanket. Daddy. You said a sore throat won't kill me. But it's Sweetheart, you had a tube in your throat to help you uh, to help you breathe, but it's gone now. Can't you make it go away? I don't have what you need yet. Don't you walk out of here on me.
What do you plan on doing for her? I'm doing it. Everything medicine can do. Then let me be the donor. No. Why not? You see how she is. Because it's more likely to kill you than to save her. qualify, Mrs. Forrester. Your age, your blood pressure, your kidneys. You can't get by with half a liver either. So I'll never have another drink again. I took an oath to do no harm. That comes first. You're telling me that you grew up dreaming about being a doctor that would do no harm first? I don't believe that. I think you grew up wanting to be a doctor that would save lives, somebody's life, anybody's life because I think you understand the sacredness of it, the beauty of it, the wonder of it. The spark of life that hasn't gone out yet is so precious. One more day with air in your lungs, one more day with the sun on your face, that's more important than anything. Dr. Ramirez, I've had my life. I've had all of the joy, the beauty, the love, the passion, success anybody could want. I have no regrets. But that girl in there has just started. She has her whole life ahead of her, and I am not going to let her go, and you have no right to ask me to do that. Take part of my liver. I don't care what the risk is. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to stand by and watch her die. This old body gave her life once before, and it can do it again if you will just let me. Just let me. I'll sign any papers that you need, and so will my husband. If something goes wrong, no one will hold you responsible. I have no interest in surrendering my obligations in this case. I'll have a transplant surgeon here in an hour. 